welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be closing out october's budget you guys october is over and november is here and it is my birthday month whoop, 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 whoop. so we are going to go ahead and close out my personal budget for october so we're going to jump right on into it uh, we're just going to go over my checkoff items because this will be a different video and so will my sinking funds. So I did go ahead and buy Halloween candy. I did have to get an extra bag because my husband ate one of the bags and I'm like, honey, this candy is not for you. So why did we eat it? <laughs> so I had to get another bag, but um, I got my Halloween candy. I did not organize nor did I declutter my laundry room. I did want to make this a video and I just didn't get around to it. So we'll see over the next two months what happens. Um, we did enjoy our vacation, you all, and then we did take baby girl to do her nine-month appointment. I can't believe she is nine months, y'all. She is just so big. She is growing and just doing so much. I cannot keep up. Um, I had some top priority, so I wanted to rework my grocery budget for the fourth quarter. I actually found a, kind of figured out a just good spot for us, so you guys will see that going forward forward in November and December and then I just I've been just saving as much as I can based on what my income was so that was kind of everything in terms of like goals and things that I needed to do for the month of October now I am going to be doing a little bit of a different closeout for the month of October so I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm actually going to speed through um, this part of it because I'm just going to be filling in the numbers and then we're actually going to be taking a deeper dive and looking where my money actually went. So um, follow along. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and filled out my monthly budget, and now we're going to be taking a look at where my money actually went for the month of October. So I'm going to pull out my two budget sheets here, and we are going to be taking a look at where my money went, where my money went. So the first... Um, at, uh, first envelope, <laughs> the first, um, template or worksheet that we're going to do is where did my money go in terms of all of my categories for the month of October? So I did this last month as well too, y'all. I'm just looking at my quick, um, cheat sheet real quick. Okay. So uh, we're going to start off with my starting balance. So that is going to be my buffer, which is $178. So I added up all of my income. I did not write the income down on my monthly budget, but I did do the math and my total income was $3,545.18, which gave me a total of $37.23.18 to work with for the total month of October. So my budget categories are going to be my bills, my debt, my variable, which is my cashless cash envelopes, my savings, and then I did separate my savings and my investments. And then I have unbudget and then total. So my monthly budget for these categories were um, $11.86, $11 for my bills. 
for debt was $932. For variable, I budgeted $520. For savings, I budgeted $556.89. For investments, I budgeted $15. And then zero for unbudgeted, which would have gave me a total of $32.10. Okay, now for what I actually spent in each of these categories for bills, I actually spent eleven eighty five eighty nine, which was a difference of twenty two cents. And then for debt, they stayed the same, nothing extra, so there was a difference of zero. For my cashless cash envelopes or my variables. I actually did $590 and that was a difference of $70. And then for savings, I budgeted $556.89. However, I ended up saving $881.46. So that was a difference of $324.50. Fifty-seven cents, which in this case for, in I mean for savings, this is a good thing. I'm okay, definitely okay with that. Um, for investments, I budgeted fifteen dollars, but I actually spent, or not spent, but uh, put twenty-five eighty-one into investments, and that was a difference of ten dollars and eighty-one cents. And once again, this is a good number. I am okay with that. For unbudgeted, I had zero dollars but I actually spent $108.02. Some of this came from that extra credit card debt that I paid back in the like first week of October. And then the rest were like from overages and things of that sort that I had from like my cashless cash envelopes. Okay, so I ended up actually spending 37.23.18. And the difference was $513.62 from what I originally budgeted for the month, y'all. So this is just what it looks like. Um, and I am good with the numbers. I just love seeing that I made more money than what I budgeted for and that I'm putting more money into my savings because that is really the goal, y'all. So that is where all of my money went um, based on my monthly budget, okay? So now we're gonna actually go and look at where my money went based on the debt that was paid and my savings that was paid out, okay? So this is um, another budget, budget mom like worksheet. So my total income was $3,723.18. For the month of October, I put $932 and that was it towards my debt. And the percent of that debt, when I took this divided by my income, that was 25% of my debt. The goal is to get to zero, right? Zero, zero, zero. So my debt, uh, my debt categories are gonna be my credit card debt. I have two credit cards that I'm currently paying off right now. Um, and they equal out to 91.86.24, which is 18% of my debt. And then I have my auto loan. And that is at 33.419.75. These um, spots are so small. And that is actually 66% of my debt. And then I have my personal loan. And that is $27.86.13. And that is 6% of my loan. And this will actually be the first loan that I start paying off in January. And then lastly, I have my small student loan. And that is at $48.72.54. And that is 10% of my debt and that is 100% of my debt y'all and this is it broken down into its specific categories. Now we're going to look at what my savings um, were. So of course my total income was $37.23.18 and I put $881.46 
towards savings, which was 24% of my income. So it looks like I'm almost like half and half with the amount of money that I'm putting towards debt and towards savings, which is about 50% of my income. So for savings, the way that I did this was I just broke down my different saving, savings categories. So I had my monthly savings challenge, which is really just separate from everything else that I'm doing. And I put $310 towards that, which made it 35% of the total amount of money that I saved for the month. Then we had my sinking funds and I put $63 towards my sinking funds, which was 7% of my total savings. Then we had my investments and I put $25.81, and that was 1% of my savings. Then we had my savings challenges, and that totaled out to $330.46, and that was 37% of my income, y'all. So that's good, that's good. And then lastly, this is really not a savings, but then it is, and that's my buffer at 178, and that was 20% of my income for, well, 20% of the mon money that I saved. And so that brought me up to 100% for all of my saving categories, y'all. So when we're looking at the big picture, outside of my bills and my cashless cash envelopes, I put 25% off to my credit card, I mean, not my credit cards, to my debt, and we broke them down into four different um, debt categories. And then for my savings, I put about 24%, and these were broken down over five different categories. So that is where my money has been going in terms of percentages and how much has gone to these different categories. And the last thing, you guys, is to see where my money has gone based on last month to now. So I probably should have written out um, September, but I'm going to try to make this as quickly or do this as quickly as possible. So we have my bills, and this is going to be from September. And we had 138611. And actually, y'all, I'm just going to speed through this, and you guys can just see me writing it out. All right, you guys, I am back. So these are just my um, categories and numbers and the percentage for September. And then we're going to quickly go over um, October. So we have my bills and I spent $1185.89, which was 32% of my budget. And the change from, October, from September to October was $222.22. Next, we had my debt, and I paid $932, and that was 25% of my income, and that change difference was $49. And I forget what happened, why this was less. I think I didn't have to pay for something, but it was like a $5 difference or something like that. That was that. Uh, I forgot I got a good friend. I don't remember what I didn't have to pay for last month. I'm not sure, but that was the difference, y'all. Um, and then next is going to be variable. So that is my cashless cash envelopes. And I put 590. And the reason that is left, y'all, and that is 16% of my income was because September was a five-month paycheck. And then October is just a regular four-week paycheck. And the difference was $135. Next is going to be my savings, and this month I put in $881.46, which was 24% of my income, and the difference from last month was $131.89, and that's also, again, because this was a five-paycheck month, 
and this is not and also i had got some extra or a lot more extra income in september than i did in october we have my investments sorry just kidding i have my unbudget okay maybe i shouldn't have did it that way just let's use that so i have my unbudget and I had 108.02, which was 3% of my budget, which is really good. And the difference was $80.02. Last month in September, I did just spend more and do more than I did in October. And then lastly, we have my invest. And I did 25.81, which wasn't anything towards um, really... The percentage and the difference was a dollar and 87 cents and really the biggest difference was how much money came out in my roundups to go to my acorns account and i would say maybe the difference is is i spent more money in september than i did in october so y'all that is where i am with um where my money went from the previous month and the total difference was five hundred and ninety seven dollars and eighty cents and lastly we're going to look at income so in september i made forty two nineteen forty four like i said it was a five paycheck month versus the thirty seven twenty three eighteen that i made this month and the difference was four ninety six twenty six Okay, so y'all, this is where my money went. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this and seeing really just like the breakdown of my numbers, where I'm putting my money to. Sorry, that's not a page. Um, where am I putting my money to and what's the breakdown in my debt and in my savings instead of maybe just looking at the same um, like I budgeted 626 and then I paid 626 um, and just seeing where all of those numbers go. But this concludes my budget closeout for my personal budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.